In this video, I show you how you set up T-Hub to bring in your sales from Amazon into QuickBooks and also how you set up your QuickBooks and T-Hub to correctly download and record Amazon settlement reports so you can accurately record all your fees and uh, payments to Amazon. Uh, we assume that I assume that your Amazon store setup is uh, done and you're able to download orders but just to recap your Amazon store settings are here uh, under web stores my web stores then select Amazon edit store uh, and you should have the download merchant fulfilled orders checked and uh, the download method should be tab delimited uh, if you sell on FBA if you f use uh, Amazon fulfill fulfilled by Amazon service you can check this checkbox to download uh, FBA orders from Amazon. Uh, so once these are uh, set up, you are able to download your orders from Amazon. To download orders from Amazon, you click on this process order screen. On this screen, you can uh, click on this download orders icon. Uh, so when you click this, it sends a request to Amazon. And after some time, if you click this again, it will pull orders from your Amazon account. Now to send orders to QuickBooks, you can simply select one or more orders from here and push this button to send orders to QuickBooks. Now if you notice the uh, posting status will change to success, which means it was sent to QuickBooks. Now the recommended way to send orders to QuickBooks is uh, uh, there are a couple of things to note. Under web stores, edit store preferences, let's see some of the settings that we have. Um, so for Amazon store for QuickBooks posting we have it set up to go in to QuickBooks as sales receipts and if you go to the next tab for customers we have it set up so all Amazon orders go into QuickBooks under one customer name so we created a customer in QuickBooks called Amazon.com let me just so all the transactions that I post will go under this Amazon.com customer now let's go back to T-Hub. Uh, so to recap, so we have one customer in QuickBooks called Amazon.com and we will post all those transactions, all Amazon transactions into that one customer in QuickBooks. On the other settings tab, I have the setup to record channel fee. Channel fee in this case are all expenses that you pay to Amazon, all your payments to Amazon. Uh, I select the option to record channel fee as yes and the option to as a separate single check transaction. I want all the expenses paid to Amazon for a given settlement period, uh, usually 15 days, to go into QuickBooks as one check transaction. So I don't have to go around in QuickBooks, look for different expenses under different uh, transactions. For a, let's say for a 15 day settlement period, if there are uh, 10 different payments made to Amazon, uh, all those would be recorded under one check transaction. That's the recommended uh, approach. Um, so you select this select uh, record channel fee as yes, a separate single check transaction. Now then you click on this check details. And here, if you notice, I have the same payee name, Amazon.com. So I have one customer in QuickBooks that records all the sales coming in from Amazon. And against the same customer, I would, T-Hub would create a check transaction. So it will create a check to Amazon.com to record all the expenses. So let's say there are 100 orders from Amazon for a settlement period. So there'll be 100 sales receipts in QuickBooks under Amazon.com and there'll be one check transaction to Amazon.com, let's say for $45 for the settlement period and it will record that uh, expense to Amazon.com. You need to select an expense account. I have created one. Let's go to my chart of accounts in QuickBooks. So I create one uh, account in my QuickBooks called AMZ dash payments. You can call it whatever you want. It should be of account type expense. So I have defined that as my expense account. You can click on close, click on save. <clears throat> so those are all my settings for uh, posting orders to QuickBooks from Amazon. Now to manage, uh, to look at the settlement transactions, I go into this orders menu and click on this Amazon settlement report. This is the screen that uh, lets me manage my settlement report download from Amazon. Now on this screen, uh, you notice there are different settlement uh, IDs 
for different settlement periods. Uh, you can change this download start date to tell the system what date to start the settlement download from. Uh, and you click on this download settlement reports that will download any new settlement report available from your Amazon account. Then before posting the uh, expenses to uh, QuickBooks, you need to do some review. Of course, the, uh, when you select a settlement settlement transaction, the first tab at the bottom shows you the settlement summary. Uh, it gives you the different uh, different categories under which you have been charged for that period. The settlement details are nothing but the transactions in that settlement report. The two main areas to review are these orders not downloaded and orders not posted to QuickBooks. Now orders not downloaded means for from this settlement report, Amazon is telling us that there should be certain number of transactions. Now in T-Hub, if you have not downloaded all the transactions from that settlement report, it is giving you that information. So in this case, it is telling me that there are 20 transactions that is there in the settlement report, but not yet downloaded by T-Hub. So what do I do about it? I simply click on this download above orders from Amazon. So T-Hub has all the transactions from Amazon. So I click on that. It will take a few minutes. Uh, sometimes uh, Amazon also has a throttling policy where it blocks users from making too many calls to their servers. So if there are many orders that are uh, not yet downloaded, uh, if you click this, it will uh, stop after some time and you just have to try it after 10 more minutes, <coughs> 5 to 10 more minutes, depending on uh, the Amazon load. So let the uh, download complete. It will take a few minutes. So now if you see this tab orders not downloaded has zero orders. That means all the orders from that settlement period are now downloaded into T-Hub. Now that does not mean that all the orders that have been downloaded by T-Hub has been sent to QuickBooks, uh, which we want. So let's go to the next tab called orders not posted to QuickBooks. So in the orders not posted to QuickBooks tab, uh, we have 23 orders that have uh, been downloaded from Amazon into our T-Hub, but it's not yet sent to QuickBooks. So I can select, I can press the shift key and select all these orders and click on this post selected orders to QuickBooks. Now it will go through all the posting preferences. It will create 23 more sales receipts into QuickBooks at this point, all against that one customer called Amazon.com. Uh, if you notice the count of orders will reduce one by one and as the orders are being posted to QuickBooks. Okay, so now if we go back to orders not downloaded, there are no orders. Orders not posted to QuickBooks, there are no orders. Now, now let's go to this last tab called deposit reconciliation. This is the tab that shows us uh, the overview of our settlement for that period. So it gives us the total deposited from uh, Amazon. Uh, into your bank account. It gives us the total of all the sales receipts posted to QuickBooks, total of all the expenses. Uh, once you review this, um, you can click on this post settlement to QB button up at the top. Now what this will do is it will create that one single check transaction against that customer called Amazon.com to record all the expenses that you have paid to Amazon for that settlement period. Now the uh, posting status for that will change to success if everything goes well. It's a check transaction. Uh, you can double click on this posting status success and that will open up that check transaction from QuickBooks to review. Uh, so here we see the check created in QuickBooks. It is for that customer called Amazon.com. It is for <coughs> this amount, whatever is the total amount. Uh, so here it breaks down into different categories that has been paid for. If you uh, use the FBA service, it records uh, the FBA related fees. So all these are categorized under different uh, accounts. Now if you go back to our chart of accounts, you would notice that under AMZ payments, the account, the expense account that we created, T-Hub creates different sub-accounts based on the different categories uh, of payments to Amazon. So it's nicely uh, categorized uh, uh, under different uh, names based on the charges. 
some of these names you would notice that it is truncated at the end that's just because uh, uh, what QuickBooks allows for the maximum number of uh, characters for account names. Uh, so that completes the order download and settlement posting into QuickBooks. Just to recap the main points being in the store setting web store my store settings here all your account details must be set up uh, the check boxes for downloading merchant fulfilled and FBA order should be checked under edit store preferences you should have the option to post as sales receipts and under customer you should have it set to post against one customer called amazon.com and under other settings you should have the option record channel fee yes as separate single check transaction and under check details you have the same customer name called amazon.com uh, and uh, select uh, expense account under which you want all the Amazon payments to be recorded One, those, uh, those are all the setting related uh, points now to download orders from Amazon you push this button and to select and post orders to QuickBooks you use this button and to review and post settlement report from Amazon you go into this orders Amazon settlement reports so here uh, you select on the settlement period uh, if it's already downloaded otherwise you click on this download settlement reports and it will download any new settlement report for your account you go to this orders not downloaded tab to see if any orders are there in the settlement report which has not yet been downloaded by T Hub. you can click this to download those orders from Amazon at this time and then you go into this orders not posted to QuickBooks, which are orders in T-Hub but not yet sent to QuickBooks. <clears throat> so you can then select, if there are orders here, you can select those orders and post selected orders to QuickBooks. The idea is these two tabs should not show any orders. If these uh, tabs are showing some orders, that means uh, some of the orders are not yet processed through to QuickBooks. So we want these two tabs to have no orders displayed which means all orders have been downloaded and sent to QuickBooks and ready for the uh, final check uh, deposit into QuickBooks. So then you go into this deposit reconciliation tab and uh, review the numbers for that settlement period and then click on this post settlement to QuickBooks that will create a check transaction in QuickBooks. Now if you make if there is some mistake and you want to repost it you can select that and click on reset posting status and then you can select that settlement report and post settlement to QuickBooks again to create that check in QuickBooks and that would create the check in QuickBooks uh, as uh, shown here so the check will be posted to QuickBooks uh, just like it uh, shown here and uh, it will have different subcategories that describes the different payment categories to Amazon that completes the order download from Amazon and settlement posting to QuickBooks note that this is only applicable for QuickBooks Financial uh, desktop which is QuickBooks US uh, the desktop pro premier or enterprise edition it is not applicable for QuickBooks point of sale